In this tutorial, we will walk through the steps involved in setting up a storage solution for Zotero that allows you to work across multiple computers and does not rely on Zotero cloud storage. The components you'll need are an instance of Zotero, Zot file, which we'll demonstrate downloading, and a cloud storage service like Box or OneDrive that can be accessed on your device. If you have any questions about access to these services, please contact your institution's IT support. First, create a folder for your Zotero storage in your cloud option of choice, either Box or OneDrive. In this case, I'll be using OneDrive. Next, we are going to download the Zot file add-on. Visit zotfile.com and click Download in the upper left-hand corner. An XPI file will be downloaded. Next, open your Zotero and navigate to Tools and then Add-ons. Once the add-on manager has opened, click the gear icon in the upper right-hand corner and select Install Add-on from File. Select the recently downloaded Zotfile XPI file and click Install Now. Now you should have Zotfile installed. To confirm, you should see a new option under the Tools menu called Zotfile Preferences. Let's open this. So on Zotero, under Tools, there will be an option for Zotfile Preferences. On the General Settings tab in the Zot File Preferences window, we will be changing both the source folder for attaching new files and the custom location for location of files here. Just use the Choose buttons here and select your folder. Let's use the Zotero storage folder we created in the initial step of this video. Next, let's close out of the Zot File Preferences and go to the Edit menu. Select Preferences. Under Advanced, then Files and Folders, change the base directory to the Zotero storage folder. Then click Change Base Directory Setting and click OK. If you already have files on Zotero, you can easily move them to the new cloud storage folder by selecting all files using Control A or Command A if you're using a Mac or PC, and then right clicking, select Manage Attachments, and then select Rename and Move. The files will then be moved to the Zotero storage folder, as you can see here. To confirm that they have moved, check your Zotero cloud storage folder, and you should see all the PDFs have been moved to that location. Now let's download an item from the web as we might typically in our workflow. Let's use this article from Scientific Reports for our demonstration. Once you've landed on the page of the article, click on your Zotero connector icon to add it to your Zotero library. As you can see, Zotfile works in the background and move that PDF attachment to your newly set storage location. So what if this doesn't work? With the occasional article, this process to automatically move the PDF will not work. If this happens, you can right-click on the article, click on Manage Attachments, and then Rename and Move. This quick action will relocate the PDF to your set storage location. Some advantages of using this system are, it saves on storage space without relying on purchasing additional storage. You have the ability to access files on any device that is also connected to the cloud storage service. You still are able to use many custom Zotero tools like the PDF reader. You can retain the ability to bulk move items and there is seamless integration of most articles without disrupting your workflow. Some drawbacks are the system will not work with some Zotero features like the iOS application and Zotero groups, both of which rely on Zotero storage. And getting articles into Zotero using methods like importing from a file will not automatically move the PDF. We encourage folks to consider this option thoroughly before making the change. Thanks for watching this video.